This world for you is only as long as the life that you live. Then the life of this world will come to an end. And that which you have already put forward, you will find with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For no doubt, the life of an individual will go through three phases. And in reality, three lives. The life or the hayatul dunya, the life of this world, the hayatul barzakh, or the life of the barzakh, or the life of the grave. And then after that life comes to an end, then it is the life of the akhirah. So when the life of this world comes to an end by your death, then you will enter into the barzakh, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send to you angels. And those angels, Munkir and Nakir, will ask you those questions. Man Rabbuk, who is your Lord? Ma Deenuk, what is your religion? O Man Nabiyuk, and who is your Prophet? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send these angels to ask these questions to you in that life, after this life has come to an end. So it is a life that you will encounter after this life. Then that life will come to an end. And then you will enter into the last of your lives and that life is eternal. Either you will be from those who will enter into the hellfire and remain in there for eternity. Or that you will enter into the hellfire and remain in there for a period of time before you are removed because you are people of Tawheed and people of Iman. Then that life or then the third of those affairs is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will enter you into paradise. He will either enter you into paradise after removing you from the hellfire or you will be entered into paradise directly i.e. after your standing and after your judgment and after the intercession that you will be entered into paradise. But once a person has find, for in his finality or for the, for at the end of the affair has entered into the hellfire then there is no removal from the hellfire. If that was his abode for eternity, unless he was from the people of Tawheed. Or he will be from the people who will be entered into Jannah. And that once he enters into Jannah, my brothers and sisters, there is no removal from that. It is an eternal bliss, an eternal happiness, an eternal abode that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for his believing servants. Allah tells them, if you do this and do that and do that, and part of it is if you establish your salah, I will expiate your sins, I will forgive your sins, I will replace your sins with good deeds, and I will grant you Jannah in return. If that could apply to them, it applies to us as well. Allahu Akbar.